Take a look at this. Get as close as I can to it. Focus right there. Focus. You can kind of see how this right here is just destroyed. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna focus as best I can. Yeah, compared to the new one, it's, it's crusty, etc. This is the new one. You're probably asking, okay, so what's the deal? Well, my car looks pretty, pretty bad. Uh, you can see the wire sticking out like right there. Yeah, it's hard to see. But, yeah, you can really see the, uh, there you go. You can really see the wires. Look at that. It's all crusty. Look at that. It's all destroyed. That's the new one. You're asking why. That piece goes right here. For those of you that are wondering, right there at the top, that's for the immobilizer. If your car won't crank, it's having issues cranking, or oh, you see the key light on the dash, it's probably that right there. I got stuck at work for a little while. To, uh, basically got lucky and put the key in the opposite way and it cranked so so you don't get stuck at work it's probably that you're looking for the immobilizer key thing it's this one at the top to that fuse should have a replacement i'm gonna swap out the replacement because this thing looks really screwed up and i shouldn't have any more issues hopefully we'll find out tomorrow but i thought i'd just make a quick video those of you guys like me um they yeah, like um car has power Okay, the fuel pump priming, um, but mm, the car doesn't crank because the immobilizer is still on. It's not like the other day. Now that I pulled this fuse, let's see how jacked up this fuse is right here. Again, you just look at this side right here. I get this kind of the focus. Look at that. It's literally destroyed. Again, it's how to get the camera to focus on it. There you go. Look at that. It's bad. To replace the fuse, that should be good. Nah, I'm in the car, car cranked up immediately. Sounds actually way better. Sounds way better. Now, obviously that point that fuse resets all your electronics and stuff like that. So I just let the car idle and run. But yeah, so now, um, yeah, that was definitely it. Um, cranked up, sound way more stronger cranking up. So, but you guys that wanna know, I can't crank your car, you get stuck at work like I did. I got lucky and it cranked, uh, cranked again. I was able to get home. That's what it was, that fuse. This thing sounds a lot better now. Holy shit. I need to go buy some uh, kidnap, uh, to that pieces uh, tomorrow. And obviously, yeah, I gotta reset the radio and stuff like that. But yeah, I figured I'd make this quick video. Uh, for those of you that get kind of get stuck and wondering what's going on and why your car uh, won't crank. And you got that green immobilizer light. Sounds way better now. Yeah, that's what it was. Alright, I'm out. Peace. What's up, everybody? I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I was extremely tired. I just worked like 85 hours. Um, that, as I guess you could say, this week. So, yeah, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, my car wouldn't start, you know, after working the 17 hour shift. That's because of this fuse right here. Go back to the beginning of the video. Check your fuses if you're having issues with your car not cranking. You're getting the green key light because it's a immobilizer. Um, I have to make this short because the locksmith is here. Uh, essentially, I'm going to go ahead and get a new key cut. One or two keys cut to my arm. She charges me. So I'm going to go do that right now. Um, again, you don't have to get a new key cut. But most likely it is this, but you should have extra keys. I've only, only had one key to the car, so we can get that done. I was going to show you guys some other parts I got. Just rush, rushing through it right quick. Let's get these keys cut. Right quick, and I'll show you the other parts that we're actually going to install over there. But let's go see the locks. Obviously, cutting the key is not the problem. It's just the, uh, I guess you tell me the size of it.
Just like that, we're back. Okay, a couple of things. So you see the new keys that the key the, the, the keys cut came from the top. Um, keys don't unlock and lock the door. Why? Because these keys actually have a. I can show it to you on this one right here. Actually, have a number right here. You see that number right there? The H H L I K number right there. That's the what they call the 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 portion of the zoom out. My goodness, that's the portion of the key that, as far as the programming, the these buttons right here. Okay, see how it lights up? Yeah. So this that particular number goes to a different Honda. Okay. So I'm gonna put the proper number put on the screen. That's the type of keys you need to order. So what I'm gonna have to do is. Well, I already ordered a set of new keys again as far as that. I'm just going to swap out the centerpiece, which is these buttons. And then I'll, I'll walk you guys through the process of how to program it. Program the keys to the car. And you see the keys already cut, which is good. So now I got the keys that I cut. The, the, these keys do crank the car. I just can't unlock it and lock the door. Again, I'll show you that process probably in the next video or something like that once I get the keys and swap them out. And how to program my Honda key um, properly. Um, just so you guys know, they do make a test key. Make sure you get that test key. I don't trust nobody, so don't don't allow them to keep the test keys. And as you can see, we do have authentic. I got two of the same authentic Mugen. There you go. In case it came in, authentic Mugen key backing. And for all you guys that want the red Honda key, the the Type R key, whatnot, that is the actual Honda part number for it right there. Pause this video. There you go. I'll give you just the right key back in. This is the actual Megan key right there. So we got the Megan key, the right key. Always has the original Megan key. So now I got two keys that do work. I just had to order the proper center key power buttons <clears throat> for it, but the keys do crank the car. So cool. We should have some spare keys. Once those uh, come in, I'll show you guys on how to program. All right, so let's show you some other stuff that I got. So for those keys, I had to get this one Honda key tag, key chain. Right there, and I've had this one for a while from Street Speed Student Driver. Got my Student Driver keys. So I have my extra keys. Finally, got extra keys to the car. Again, I'll show you the program. It's simple. I'll take like two minutes once you get the proper uh, center key button pop in. So, like I said, uh, I put it on the screen. Make sure you order that type. If you order any other type, like this one or whatever, even though the key looks the same, you won't be able to program it. So, what else did I get? I got another Megan part. Bam. And that's what that what, what this is. This actually is a Mugen carbon fiber gas cap. So we're going to put this Mugen carbon fiber gas cap on today. As well as I got another Mugen part. I got Mugen everywhere. I got a Mugen. Turn up and down. Look at that. Mugen rear view mirror. As you can see, carbon fiber piece. So we got the Bobby mirror on. I want the spice at the back. Let's go on the back. So, you know, we got that, the carbon fibers. So we got the carbon fiber rear view mirror cap. Uh, we have you mirror, mirror cover, Megan, and we got the Megan carbon fiber gas cap. It is awesome. And then we got the keys done there, which I wasn't planning, but as you said at the beginning of the video, getting stuck at work because of a fuse, hell no. So we're going to leave today, get some sushi, as well as uh, get a fuse, and we're going to have the new, probably put up right here, a new Final Fantasy game that's going to come out next week. Love my RPGs. We also got one more part right here, kind of show it right there, from Jason J's. We have a, I had to do it, guys. A titanium. Oh my god, I'm excited about this piece. Dipstick. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Is this boy K20? Say it again. K20. I'll be your civic SI so your accurate R sexes. Okay? Now, the length of our dipstick, the R18, and the length of the K20, the difference is 0.1. It's actually 21.5. For a K20 dipstick and 21.6 for the R18. Now, for those of you, again, you guys know I'm obsessed with carbon fiber and color changing. I had to get it matching. The only difference is I'm about to pull out the uh, dipstick, and obviously, because it's point, you know, one longer, the markings, you yeah, just how the markings are, I need to take a blade and we mark the full line. So I'll put, the, I'm gonna put the two side by side, see where the full line is on the R18, etch it off right here on this one. That way, because when, obviously when you top off oil, you're always going to fill it to the top. That way I know, oh, when I get to this marking, it's full. Again, that's the only difference. So I'll test it for you guys. It should fit perfectly fine. With no issues, I just have to mark that. Or you don't have to mark it. Just whenever you go to get the oil change, just make sure you bring the original uh, dipstick with you. Stick it in there. They can top off the oil. Then swap it out. However you want to do it. But yeah, this, this piece took a minute. I had to get this. This is going to... 
kind of um, almost complete the uh, the engine bay for sure. Get rid of that eyesore and get some nice titanium. I was very excited about this piece and by chasing Jags. Again, this is for K20. The only difference is 0.1 between the R18A and the K20. So you have to just remark the full line on this. Put them side by side. That takes care of that. So we got a bunch of Mugen goodness here. Keys are down. As soon as I get those new <clears throat> those new programmable uh, key pops in for the center, I'll show you the quick process on how to do it. Keys already cut. Uh, also, I refreshed. This is my original key. I refreshed it because obviously this is the only key I had. The guy was gracious enough to recut it for me. So this is refreshed. All the keys work. Good to go. So, again, I want to go reserve the game. And then you go get some more 10 amp pieces because we don't want to run into that situation. Of, uh, I don't have any more either of this happening. A car with a crank because this stupid little piece that you saw at the beginning. Hard to focus on this thing. Yeah, this is a dusty thing. So, we'll buy some more 10 apps. We're going to go get some more sushi, custom sushi, and go reserve that game at Game Stop. Let's get it. Okay, we have it right here. Sorry about the noise. Now we got these. Take the double side tape off the top. It's simply, uh, I'm in the car. I take out the Bobby mirror. Simply gonna put it on the back of that. So I mean, not not really too difficult. Nothing too special about that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the back of this right quick. And again, you see the look uh, of it all black, and you're about to see the look of it with it on this. Let's throw this on right fast. There we go. That was easy. We have a carbon fiber now. Step on that quick end. Oh, it's like sick. There we go. Step by start. We got Megan while I put the bobbin mirror back on. That's done. All right, so that install is complete. Put the bobbin mirror back on. All right. Now, when you look at it, you see the carbon coming back in the Megan. Good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the Megan. That takes care of that Megan part. That we're going to need this. So let's take care of the Megan gas cap right here. Open this up. Wow! Put this on as much as on the Megan gas cap. Now getting out to the Megan boards. There you go. I can grab this thing. Jesus. Hold on a second. I can grab this thing on one hand. There we go. Alright. Uh, man, look at that. that I think Megan gas cap. Okay, so we got the carbon part of me getting gas cap. Same thing, sticks. The keys right here. So we're gonna go with the gas cap right here. Bam, that's how it's simply gonna go. Let's go ahead and stick it on. Here you go, so we never see me getting gas cap. Bam. Tempo install, nice and tight. Close it, we'll carbon part of the top, so it takes care of that. It's been raining a lot, so I haven't washed the car. Alright, so all that's done. So let's go to the Motor and just did five and filming in 24 frames. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, I didn't, but if I did, that's what it was. So now I'm back to 4K60. Now I'm going to my favorite part right here the dipstick. I'm going to pull this old one out, cut this one open, like I said, measure it, mark it with the blade, and we should be good to go. So, again, and we do have to put some oil on on the uh, to help this uh, lubricate around the seals right there. So, got a little towel. Cut this one out. I'm gonna swap it. Clean up on this real quick. Okay, so I already see spot issue already. The thing is not stick it in there properly. It looks like it's a but the dip stick in there, but it's not tight at all. It's a public seal, it fits, as you can see. But it's, look, see that? Not loose at all. So you don't have to make some type of contraption that kind of, I guess the O-rings the need to be thicker, if that makes sense. In order to hold it down. Now, for car shows, I could throw it in here, you know what I'm saying, like that. And there you go. But robbing with it, I don't know about all that. Um, but let's, we'll have to revisit this idea. Maybe I'll see the fabricator, see what type of shit we can make to make that, to make it fit or whatnot. If not, it's going to be a car show only piece. I'll go to car show's popular, put that in there and then change it out. But it, it slides in there perfectly. But like I said, it's, you should have a, like, a tiny bit of resistance. There ain't no resistance in here at all. I know that can't be good because I'm thinking 
the vibration of the motor is shooting away out through it. Who knows? But every other piece is installed. We do got the keys made. So we're gonna go drive now, get the sushi and result this game and get those 10 at pieces. This is that the Final Fantasy game? Yeah, Kia Crisis Cook actually uses PS5 I don't even use. We're gonna go now to get sushi. It's about to rain. Up and get sushi and we gotta get sushi and the 10 app pieces. Sushi and 10 app pieces. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Get my customer all right here. All spicy. All spicy. Alright, alright, alright. So we're back, you guys saw it. Uh, so we'll figure out the way to get that oil dipstick to stick. I make the, the end a little bit thicker. I'll talk to the fabricator so we can fabricate something, you know, maybe something that can wrap around it just to make it thicker so it doesn't, if that makes sense. You can't just pull it out like that. It's going to be a little, a little resistance. So we'll work on that. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and fast forward um, and, uh, until I get the uh, other key fobs so I can go ahead and show you guys how to program this. So for me, I have to wait for you guys to be probably like right. Actually, check this out. Chemical guys, heavy metal polish finally came in. Got this on the Black Friday special. Remember we were talking about cleaning up the uh, top of the radio. We got to get it shiny like all the other parts. So I bought the applicator pad and I bought the metal polish. Shake it well. So we're going to go ahead and clean the radio while we're waiting on these uh, key fobs to come in. So scratch that. Let's clean it since it came in. Heck yeah. Shake really well. And let's see if we can't get this metal to go back to being polished or shiny. Get rid of all that stuff and that's just going to... That's just gonna piece everything together perfectly. So let's get it, let's get it. Night time. We're gonna shake this up really well. And again, that's what we're trying to polish up right here. This this portion right here, we got this shit popping, the rest of this stuff. Heck yeah, and then I guess we'll fabricate something for that, or we'll just have to use it for car shows only. I could always paint this piece like uh, chameleon colors. I need to find some chameleon color paint to paint that anyways, because that. They don't make a top for that that's that small, so we'll figure it out. If not, like I said, we just use that piece strictly just for car shows. Okay, so you just shake this really well, and we're gonna apply some applicator pad, and then we're gonna try to see if we can't get all these water spots and shit out and get this portion shiny again. Let's see what we can do. Alright, got some on here. Let's see. Trying one spot like we're just trying to see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's dirty. I'm going to apply more to it. So I'm on it, let's leave it. You know, just trying stuff here. This, this, uh, all right, let's, let's grab and let's see. I don't know if it's necessarily taking it out or working, but I'm gonna see like on this spot right here. Just that spot. And it actually is taken out. One dirty spot we had. Again, it is nighttime. I do see it taking out the dirt though. I can't say it's not. So look at this spot right here. Oh yeah, that spot right there. It is combating, it is attacking it. So maybe that's the trick right there. I can kind of, I can kind of see it polishing up a little bit. Like I said, they'll say it's not. I'll try on that too. But look, see, they take that stuff out, so I'm gonna apply it directly to it. Yeah, it's a lot. How's it gonna go to town? 
you know, I can always watch this. I'll buy another one. I don't really care about the applicator pad too much. I'll buy another one if I got to. I just want to get it clean. Or at least, if not clean, I clean at least shiny. It's taking out dirt. Sometimes I say it's not. You got, some wild spots on this shit. I can see it clean the dirt. It took out that dead spot though. And that's the dead spot I was having. Mechanics working on it. Look at that. So now when I get down, oh, you can kind of see it right there. Focus, look at that. Look at that, it's a nitty gritty. You can really see it. Gotta scrub a little harder. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna use two hands on this. Then clean up this even more. You got some spots right there. You can kind of see it is shiny. Uh, these are like water spots or water stains or whatever. So, uh, apply some more and call town, but it is shiny. You can you can see it. Wow, you can see from here. It, it definitely is shiny. When the light hits, it's gonna shine more. Too bad about these spots or whatever, but. This is what it is, we're gonna keep working on it. So you can see the dirt coming up on my finger. But you can see it from the video. From before it wasn't it was dull. Now it's shiny here. Yeah, let's keep hitting it. Okay, let's show you the finished park after the light on so you can see it. So I went ahead and cleaned up my chameleon colored cover. Now check this out. There's still some hard stains on it. I'll look up how to read how to, if it could buff those out more or what, but check this out guys. <laughs> I know you see that glistening. Does work. Look at that. Okay, remember how it looked before it was get back. How it looked before it was all dull. Now look at it. So at the now my pad is applicator pad is dirty. Look at that. It was yellow. It's hella dirty, but but just going out there putting a little bit of elbow grease in a little bit. Look at that. Now I need to take these radio brackets off through this, through these corners or whatever. Probably do that once we get the uh, key lock. But I want to try this stuff out to see if it actually will clean it up. But if you look at it, like I said, minus the hard, hard stains right there, it's still glossy as hell. Like you can see that it's it's shiny. And that looks, compared to all the other stuff, and then I clean that. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. So, okay, um, car's coming by. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and we'll wait for the key pops to come in. Um, I'm actually gonna, gonna eat and, uh, we'll take off, we'll take off these red yeah, brackets right here. And then we'll do these little corner, this corner right here, because I could barely kind of get this corner kind of sort of, but not really. I could do it better once I move, uh, the uh, brackets. I don't feel like doing it tonight, so I'll do it tomorrow. Ooh, custom pipe over there. Um, so we'll do it tomorrow, but for this one cleaning shot, wow, that looks that looks amazing. That looks really amazing, and it's shiny. You can see it. Yep, definitely shiny. There you go. Good picture. Definitely shiny compared to but it was all dull, dull kind of like kind of like that right there. I think that's mostly like a hard. Hard water spot, see? A little bit more elbow grease. And get it definitely shinier. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, a little bit later. Like I said, I just got off uh just got off of work. It's late, it's dark, I'm tired, I need to eat, and then watch some football. So we'll be back once we get those key fobs in. We'll do the key fobs, so we got the bug on it. I'm gonna shine this up some more. Just a little bit of elbow grease and at uh, first I thought this stuff didn't work. I was like, man, this shit ain't working at all. But then I realized you gotta put some elbow grease into it and you have to use a microfiber towel to clean it once you're done. Yeah. Tell you metal polish, the chemical guys, yeah, the truth. That looks good.